Hi, um, anyway, I saw your video, so the bug has been fixed, but I need to explain to you um, the origin of the problem so that subsequently um, this is also good for learning purposes. Um, if you go to WordPress, there's this thing we call is this um, page and on the C panel. If you go to C panel file file manager, you see a, a file called wp config. That's the file. This file now wp config. This is where um, by default WordPress was actually written in PHP. So now what I did was to first because whenever errors come up that way. WordPress tries to mask their error with like, let me call it with, you know, short text messages so that they won't expose themselves. So the first thing I did was to open up the debug, which I'm going to revoke because normally um, they're not people are not meant to see what the error message is. So upon the, seeing the error, I now realize that the problem is SSL issue. So what I did was to get a plugin that will because the site already has SSL but the WordPress SSL has not been propagated so what I did basically was to propagate it using the plugin let me open up the 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 area or the plugin um, page now what I did basically was to um, install this really simple SSL now this plugin handles you know SSL propagation so it propagates the SSL around the whole pub, um, WordPress script so that was actually the constraint that we were um, having on this so th this plugin has solved the problem then secondly I was also get I saw some little little box that I had to fix which had to do with the um, size of the mem memory limit I had to increase it to 256 just to ensure that um, there's no issue with uploading or you know downloading or you know setting up any uh, you know file or any, any anything that has to do with like you know sending requests or receiving requests on the this particular WordPress pro um, project so now let me just do a demo so let me just create a page let's say I, I want to create a page right now all right so I can just say add new and I'm going to call this tests tests so when I click on publish you see that the pop-up shows here which means the page has been published so once you go to tests wow okay I think this is another bug which I think I have to fix let me find out why it's happening 